Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to week five of the class. Uh, to this week, we're going to be focusing on our first unit, which is going to be writing an expository essay. And so I don't really want to get hung up on um, what an expository essay is or the differences between expository writing and analytical writing or persuasive writing. Um, what I really want to focus on in this week is thinking about our overarching theme, which in this case is going to be happiness. And so I want to challenge you as we think about this theme, which depending on what your course structure is like this semester, you might be exploring in some other spaces, which I'll talk about in a minute. But it's one of those topics that can be either extraordinarily simple or uh, really complex, right? And so I wanna explore all the different possible complexities of happiness. And uh, moreover, I want you to think a little bit about your own perspectives and what that means to you. And so I have a number of different readings that uh, I'm going to point you towards this week. And one of the things that I want you to be cognizant of, and I put this in my comments in the announcement, is the fact that this week really is where we dive into um, much of the content for the course in, in a much more kind of um, uh, full-throated way. And so if you take a look at the requirements, um, there are one, two major texts that I'm asking you to read, I'm asking you to watch, uh, two TED Talks, um, there's a very short response that's 100 to 200 words. Uh, there's a response to a discussion board. And then there's a couple of um, ETA sheets. Now, all of these things together are probably going to take about four or five hours of time. Um, I compiled all you know, a timestamp of how long it typically takes students to go through those assignments based on um, classes I've taught in the past. Um, in-person classes mostly that I've taught in the past. And so um, just be aware that it's not like you can block off five hours and, and get it all done. Um, I would recommend breaking your time into you know two or three hour and a half sessions. Um, and some of it you'll fly through, right? Like the reflection on happiness shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. Think about it as the kind of thing that you would put on the board when students walk in when you first get into a class. Um, you know, when you go down to the discussion board, right? Like thinking about those two texts in tandem, that's a little bit more complex. That would be akin to doing a group activity in a classroom um, where you're sitting down and you're thinking about two articles and you're drawing up uh, some comparisons and contrasts between those two. That think about is 30 minutes or so of your time. Um, you know, reading one of the articles is really short because it's a fairly simple article. The other article is a bit longer and more complex. And so, I've time stamped all of those, but just be aware that this is going to be significantly more work than the units that we've had leading up to this point. And that's because we're in this unit, we're really digging into the pre writing process. What does it mean to critically examine an issue so that you feel like you're ready to say something about it? So we've got a bunch of different things. So, on one hand, we've got your pre existing conception of what happiness is. So, that's your life, that's your values, that's your experiences, all that stuff. Then we're going to come in and we're going to bring three or four other perspectives. And those perspectives are either going to relate to one another or relate back to your own experiences, or they're going to stand in contrast to those experiences and be isolated. And we want this entire time to be tracking. What do we think? What do we feel? What feels right? What do we think is right? How does it map to other stuff we've seen? And so even though, you know, if you're taking a LBL 101 class this semester or an ethics class this semester, you know, those are spaces where you might be exploring this concept. But in this space, we're thinking about entering the discourse of that concept, right? So having an opinion on what that means for us in our world and being able to expose that, that's what an expository essay does. It exposes that perspective in some kind of an interesting or meaningful way. We do that through a thesis statement, but that's all next week's work. This week, we're collecting perspectives and ideas. So by the end of this week, you'll have a discussion board post, you'll have two ETA sheet posts, you will have read two different articles, you will have watched two TED Talks, and you'll see the uh, ideas and the perspectives of some of your classmates. That's going to ground your perspective as we move into the next, um, the next stage of the writing process. So this week is all about pre-reading. A lot of it is informal writing, a lot of it is reading, 
a lot of it is watching videos and engaging in conversation. Next week, we're going to think about how do we compartmentalize that and come up with a draft. And then we have a third week where we are revising and refining that draft. So the unit as a whole is three weeks long, but I want you to think about this week as completing most of the thinking around this. Like by the end of this week, your goal should be to be able to say, hey, here's what I think about happiness and here are some other perspectives and here's how they connect and how they map. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, pop by Gordon202 at the Learning Center. Uh, call me at 498-6093, email me, whatever you need. Um, everybody has been very quiet so far. Uh, and so hopefully you feel confident and comfortable reaching out if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.